The classic French brioche recipe takes a long time to make with quite a bit of hands-on kneading. But with this easy, no-knead brioche recipe, you can still enjoy the same delicious buttery bread without hours of kneading and tending the dough. Start by melting two sticks of butter over medium heat and set it aside to cool. In a large bowl, place three and a quarter cups of bread flour, two packets of instant yeast, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, and whisk until fully combined. In a separate bowl, crack six large eggs, and give them a whisk. Pour in half a cup of water and one third of a cup of sugar. Whisk until fully combined. Pour in the wet ingredients into the dry ones and add in the now cooled butter into the bowl. Using a wooden spoon, mix until no dry flour remains for about a minute. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. When it is time to knead, holding the edge of the dough with your fingertips, fold it over onto itself halfway towards the middle. Turn the bowl 45 degrees and repeat the same process for a total of 8 times. Cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for 30 minutes. Repeat the same process for three more times with 30 minute intervals. As you fold the dough and let it rest, you will see the gluten forming and it becoming softer and easier to manage after each folding. After the last set of folding, cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for 16 hours or up to 48 hours. On the day you're ready to bake, generously butter two loaf pans with melted butter, making sure to brush all the edges and corners to help with easy removal later on. Spread a little bit of flour and transfer the rest of brioche dough onto your work surface. Using your floured hands, shape the dough into a log. First, cut it in half. Cut each half into three equal pieces, working one piece at a time, pat dough into a four inch disc. Holding the edge of the dough, fold it onto itself halfway towards the center, repeating the same process until it forms a small ball. Flip it over and continue to roll it in smaller circular motions until it is smooth. Repeat the same process with the rest of the pieces. Cover them with plastic wrap and let rest for five to 10 minutes on the counter. Place three brioche bowls in each loaf pan. Cover loosely with plastic wrap and let them rise for two hours in a warm part of your kitchen. 30 minutes before baking, turn a sheet pan upside down and place it on the oven rack in the middle position and preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Right before baking, brush each loaf with egg wash. And finally, if you want, sprinkle each loaf with a bit of salt. Place the loaves into the oven and bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until they're risen and turn golden brown. When fully baked, take them out of the oven and let them rest on a wire rack for 10 minutes. Being careful not to burn yourself, loosen the edges with a knife. 
When cool, carefully remove them from the loaf pan. Slice using a serrated knife and enjoy right away. Store the rest in an airtight container in the fridge or freeze them for later.